Hello everyone, this is Moni from BTE Magic. If you remember in my previous video, I did show you guys the score that I got uh, from appearing to the actual BTE test in Sydney back in January. And I was able to score 90 for all four modules. And today I'll be sharing with you guys the tips that you can use to better prepare for the test. So please feel free to share this video and to comment if you have any questions. And if you're not my subscriber, then click the subscribe button below. First and foremost, always, always check your microphone. I can't stress this enough, but you know, like the poor quality of the microphone can actually substantially reduce your score. You can also check the videos on the microphone tips. Surely pronunciation is super crucial when it comes to, you know, like computer catching the right keywords and also the content. But your priority should be oral fluency. So you should aim for maintaining fluency across five tasks in speaking. And even if you made a mistake, just keep going. Also, when you pause, make sure that it's only 0.5 seconds between the pauses. So since the exam room was quite noisy, I was trying to speak in a way that I could hear myself, but without disturbing other candidates because I do believe in karma. I remember that I did mention to you guys that uh, a native speaker can speak up to 150 words per one minute, like 60 seconds, which is why you need to try to uh, aim for like 17 to 24 seconds for the read aloud, depending on how long is the sentence. While you speak, stay focused and don't get distracted by other test takers. You know, you pay $340, then you can't afford to lose concentration just because of the noise. Pronunciation will definitely affect the reading scores, so uh, make sure you speak all the words clearly. Um, and some people say that you need to stress or like make the correct intonation while you speak. Um, I don't disagree with it, but at the same time, I believe that monotone voice is fine. So I wasn't trying to like stress on any words in particular, which means that speaking in a monotone style is also fine. A study skill seminar is on for students who require assistance. A study skill seminar is on for students who require assistance. Uh, in my other videos, you saw how I did really well in the repeat sentence, but in the real test, trust me, I can never get it 100% correct. And the reason is that uh, sometimes I get like really long, super long sentences, like maybe up to like 20 words or like 25 words even. And it's pretty challenging to like repeat it 100%. But you know, like, I don't stress too much. I always just like aim for at least 50% of the content. And I also don't imitate the speaker's uh, accent or the speed. So uh, if the speaker is speaking fast, doesn't mean that I need to speak as fast as the speaker. Uh, <laughs> Um, I have to admit that my short-term memory is not that good so I do practice a lot like at least like seven days before the test just like stay calm like I don't try to memorize words by words but instead focus more on the meaning and uh, when I speak I make sure that I speak in a way that is natural and it includes all the ending sounds the line chart below shows the distribution of kilocalories per day in different parts of the world. As can be seen from the picture, we can see that North America consumes the highest level of kilocalories per day, which can be seen uh, at around 3,600 kilocalories. This is a described image. I don't normally use a template, but I do recommend students to use one. The reason is that you can stay more consistent and also uh, you can maintain your fluency better. Like Honestly, I've been receiving so many uh, like inquiries like uh, so many questions like hey Moni what template do you use or like hey Moni can you send me some templates but the truth is that you can make your own template too okay there's no there's no such a specific template that you have to have to follow so as long as your template doesn't contain informal or like slang words then you should be fine like try to include as many um, information from the image as you can and speak for more than 30 seconds the lecture is about monk monastery in Austria. It was said that it is not, not a typical monastery for many reasons, because firstly, it is very grand, which most and later foundation honored. And second, it was founded in countryside. 
So for retail lecture, since this one also marks your listening, not taking will be very important. So while listening to the lecture, if you can understand the whole thing, then it's great. But uh, if you are struggling, then that's also fine. Your task is to get as many keywords as you can. By writing as many academic words, I can get like better content for my listening. Um, so people ask if I use a template uh, in my answer and the answer is no I don't use um, template because I rely more on my notes just like when you take down so many keywords uh, you know like using template will be a waste of time because you only have 40 seconds to speak keep in mind that Using template will help you to maintain fluency better but just like don't forget that you need to gain points for listening too. What is it called when the price of goods and services steadily increases over a period of time? Inflation as a short question, it should be easy, but occasionally Pearson will give you some tricky questions that require some brain power then. You know, there are plenty of the real repeated questions on the internet, uh, and you can actually have a look at the questions in advance. It doesn't really matter how many words you say because computer just catch the correct answers. So uh, in my last exam, I couldn't answer like maybe two or three questions, but I didn't keep silence. Instead, I was trying to guess the answer and I was also um, like repeating some words from the questions just to maintain my fluency. <laughs> Moving on to writing, I find that PTE writing is so much easier than IELTS writing. But in PTE, they will be very strict with your grammar and spelling, so make sure that you proofread carefully before clicking next. In some write written text, you only need to write one sentence, but because this task also checks your reading, you need to make sure that you get the right keywords. Uh, so in order to do that, um, normally in the exam, I will try to find like three closer with the keywords. You can paraphrase if you want, but if you're not too confident, I don't recommend paraphrasing. One time uh, I went to the test and then I didn't pay attention to the timing and I ended up writing 76 words, which means that I got zero for the task. So that's why I keep telling people to check the timing and check the word count carefully. Um, my recommendation is probably like 40 to 70 words. Personally, I already got 8.0 for my IELTS academic writing. But in PT, I still use template all the time. Yeah, so uh, the reason is that I only have 20 minutes to plan, to uh, write and to revise my answer. So I didn't want to waste time. I wanted to focus more on the content and I wanted to save myself um, like a bit of time to check my answer at the end. <laughs> I always find that PTE reading is so difficult but meanwhile I know that I can still score some reading points from like speaking from writing and from listening but and not just like reading itself time management is the key because you only got two minutes for each question yes two minutes on each question now that I'm looking back to my first time doing the test I did spend like four minutes on one multiple choice question so like make sure you time yourself now i don't want to sugarcoat anything and like say that uh you know you can get some tips and tricks for reading they will help you to get a high score in like the reading session because like imagine you're doing fill in the blanks and you need to choose between four words that you've never seen before in your life yeah like you don't know the meaning like even with tips and tricks i doubt that you can get the correct answer unless you're really lucky with choosing a random answer so my point is that if you like uh, knowledge of grammar and collocations and vocabulary Focus on that first. So practice with the repeated questions. So go through the basic grammar rules, common collocations, and learn new vocab. And secondly, you need to know which ones are your priorities, and they are fill in the blanks and reorder the paragraphs. Don't just like try to memorize the answers. Try to understand. Yeah, like understand why they are the answers. In my test attempt, I did see a few questions that I already practiced before on ptemagicpractice.com and nevertheless, I got a few questions that I was unable to get the correct response but my eventual score was still 90. That's why I try your best in other parts to get the reading scores. <laughs> Before listening, I always take a break uh, because you know, like it's physically hard to uh, stay focused within like three hours. 
So uh, I know that a little break will help me to perform better in the listening, which is the hardest part of the exam. The first one is uh, summarize spoken text, and this task is separate from the rest of the exam. You're getting 10 minutes for each task, but even if you finish early, you don't get any extra timing for the rest of the other items, uh, which is why uh, I always use fully my 10 minutes. Even if I finish early, I don't just like jump to the next one. Instead, I try to like stay back and check my grammar and my spelling, and maybe I can come up even with more keywords. In retail lecture, you have to take notes on the erasable notepad But in Summarize Spoken Text, you can directly type your answers You can check out my tutorials on Summarize Spoken Text uh, And that one really helped a lot of people And I hope it really works for you too But in order to do so, it's not just about putting our product there Meaning taking something that's been made for another market Putting a foreign or local language track on it um, and in terms of the template, you can have one if you want. Like I personally don't really use template. I just like use maybe linking words. Keep in mind that you want to include as many key points as you can. If I have enough keywords, then I don't need to try to add any additional template to my answers. What is quantum mechanics? Even though it was discovered by physicists, it's not a physical theory in the same sense as electromagnetism or general relativity. In the blanks is another task that requires you to type pretty fast or like to like even write down pretty fast. While you're typing the notes, don't worry about spelling and like don't try to fix your spelling. And don't worry about like writing the full words, especially when the audio speed is really fast. You can always come back and fix it later. So the four least important tasks are highlight correct summary, multiple choice questions, and select missing words. These ones are not too important and don't carry too much points, which is why I don't really take notes while listening. I, instead, I just like focus more on the meaning so that I can get the answers while listening. Because like I don't have much time and I want to save my time to do dictation later at the end of the test. Highlight incorrect words should take the least effort. But it can be challenging if the speaker is speaking really fast or like if he's like fumbling Like you know like old people they tend to speak in a way that is a bit difficult to understand Remember this task has a negative marking uh, but it also contributes to the reading score So only select the words that you are 100% sure I tend to get nervous when I do this task because like uh, it's almost the end of the exam and I know that Next one will be dictation. I feel like I don't have enough time left and then I get stressed. But it's very important for you to stay calm and select the right answers. And lastly, rough dictation. The most crucial part of the listening and also the ones that give you the majority of points for both listening and also writing. It's important for you to understand the scoring, which is one point for each correctly spelled word. So grammar is not marked, so occasionally you can type two options like um, student student but I don't recommend doing it too much please check out my video with the 100 most repeated dictation questions please note that there are like almost 800 dictation questions out there so like 100 will not be enough but the other ones that are repeated the most in the real test I always take note on the computer instead of like writing on the notepad because um, I'm just afraid that I don't have much time left so always manage your time so that you don't miss any dictation because if you miss one dictation, you can't get 79 plus. So yeah, it was an overview uh, with the personal tips on how I got 90 for four modules in PTE. Remember with the right strategies, um, the right materials, and also a bit of luck, you'll definitely get your score. And you know, like studying can be tiring and also demotivating, especially when you try your best but still not getting your target score. Believe me, I was in your position too, but I didn't give up. And every time when I fell down, I always try to remember the reason why I started at the first place. So study hard and hope you pass your test soon. Bye guys!